CRT is not an honest dialogue. It is a tactic that was used by Hitler and the Ku Klux Klan on slavery very many years ago to dumb down my ancestors so we could not think for ourselves. CRT is racist. It is abusive. It discriminates against one's color. Let me educate you. An honest dialogue does not impress, oppress. An honest dialogue does not implement hatred or injustice. It's to communicate with deceiving, without deceiving people. Today, we don't need your agreement. We want action in the backbone for what we ask for today, to ban CRT. We don't want your political advertisement to divide our children or belittle them. Think twice before you indoctrinate such racist theories. You cannot tell me what is or is not racist. Look at me. I had to come down here today to tell you to your face that we are coming together and we are strong. This will not be the last. Greet and meet respectfully. Wow, that was absolutely amazing. And that's just the beginning. Wait till you see what we've got in store for you. Parents are exploding across the nation against school boards promoting CRT or critical race theory. We're going to see for ourselves the rising up of what we're calling patriot parents across the country who love their children and their nation too much to give them up to the pernicious and racist forces of cultural Marxism. Prepare to be inspired, gang. You're going to absolutely love it. Greetings, everyone. Dr. Steve here with you. Great to be with you, as always. We are your daily fake news antidote, as each and every day we analyze current events in light of conservative trends to help you to think better so you can feel better in these crazy and turbulent times. So if you haven't already done so, you know what to do. Make sure to smack that bell and subscribe button. Before we jump into things here, let's give a huge shout out to the sponsor of this video, and that's Collagen. Available at my special website, healthwithsteveturley.com. Now, many health experts agree that consuming collagen helps to renew and revitalize how you look and how you feel. Taking collagen regularly can revitalize your body. It can make your skin, bones, even your hair look and feel more healthy and youthful. And if you click on that link below right now, you're going to get 51% off your order. So do not wait. Click on that link below today and get your own collagen supply You'll be glad that you did. All right, gang, let's dive right in here. Are you seeing what's going on in Loudoun County? Loudoun County, Virginia. It's absolutely astonishing. Parents and teachers are rising up against CRT or critical race theory. And boy, are they making some noise in the world. The entire nation is taking no. Actually, actually, it's making international news. UK media, Australian media are covering it. These parents, these patriots are making international headlines. They're rising up, they're fighting back against so-called educators and school board officials who are attempting to shove critical race theory or CRT down the throats of K-12 children. Now keep in mind, this is one of Virginia's wealthiest suburbs, okay? This is the neighborhood of gentry liberals and even they have had it with CRT. Listen to this amazing teacher from neighboring Fairfax County. You'll be on your feet standing out. Check it out. Fairfax County public school teacher and I'm going to give a message of encouragement to parents and teachers and students who are too afraid to come and speak forward. Parents, the longer that you wait and you don't hold your child's schools accountable gives these guys more time to dictate what's best for your child's physical, mental, and emotional health. Don't be afraid to speak out for your kids because they are voiceless and they, and they rely on you. You should be afraid of them rooting for socialism by the time they get to middle school. Teachers, it may seem that our careers have come to a dead end, but I'm here to remind you, we don't work for the school board. We work to mold the next generation of well-rounded American patriots. So don't give up because it is up to us. Students, you are on the front lines of these indoctrination camps. Challenge the staff when you are presented with a ludicrous statement and do not allow anybody to tell you that you cannot accomplish anything because of your skin color or to hate yourself because of your skin color. Students, it is up to you to be the next generation of victims or victors. And finally, to the board, this isn't over and your policies are just as... Nick Gossard, followed by Ryan... They cut her mic off. They freaking cut off her mic. Don't matter. Too little, too late. That was sheer brilliant. Brilliance, I say. That was a teacher named Lilith Venetian. I hope I'm saying her name right. Because that's a name we should all honor and revere from now on. God bless you, Lilith. Here, here. But gang, gang. What's going on in Loudoun County is just par for the course in a massive parental uprising that's sweeping across the nation. Parents, teachers, 
educators, they're all rising up against what is nothing less than a horrifically and perniciously racist curriculum. It's teaching children to hate their nation, to hate their culture, and to hate their inheritance as Americans. We did a video last week on the school board elections in South Lake, Texas. You will definitely want to check that video out. Texas school board election, uh, the uh, Texas school board election scored an amazing victory to stop critical race theory from being forced into Texas classrooms. The elections in South Lake involved the mayor, they involved the city council, they involved the school board, every single candidate, every single candidate supporting campaign on critical race theory lost with 70% of the vote. It was an absolute slaughter of the ballot box. You're going to absolutely love that video. Let's go to Arizona. And Arizona school board members across the state are about to get voted out from Scottsdale to Peoria to Tucson. School boards that have been pushing the CRT nonsense down the throats of K-12 students are seeing a massive parental backlash like they never imagined in their worst nightmares. Here's a sample of what's going on in Arizona. Take a look. Before the governing school board today is a vote for a new curriculum that appears well-intentioned, appealing, even empathetic, but in actuality further divides us. When you peel back the layers of this onion, you will see that it promotes taking from one group in, it, in order to compensate a second group to correct injustices caused by a third group who mistreated a fourth group by an earlier point, an earlier point in history. It's absurd. Not only does it uh, not promote justice, it does, it does the opposite. It promotes racism. And you cannot cure racism with more racism. Stop diluting student education with political correct, feel-good propaganda. Um, I didn't come prepared with statistics or anything. I'm just basically coming from a parent and my own personal experience as a parent. I have a, I'm the mother of a high school senior and an eighth grade son. And um, my fear is this type of curriculum will actually breed more racism and more divide in our country rather than unity. I fear that this is actually taking a step backward. God bless those parents. Again, these are not activists. These aren't ideologues. These are citizens. These are the people who are standing up to a political class that's ruling according to their own elite values, interests, and concerns that are radically hostile to the values, interests, and concerns of the citizens that actually pay the taxes, that pay the political class's salaries. In counties throughout Florida, patriot parents are rising up and speaking out against CRT in counties that don't even teach it. <laughs> They're that livid about this pernicious and disgusting racist doctrine, but they don't have to worry about it in Florida. You know why? Why don't they have to worry about CRT in Florida? Come on, say it. Let me hear you. It's because they have an amazing governor. That's why. And his governor is not afraid to bury CRT. Florida Governor Ron DeSantis has officially banned critical race theory from Florida's public schools, calling critical race theory curriculum divisive, racist, and anti-American, which it is. And Florida is not alone. The Texas Senate has just passed a ban on CRT, and it's expected to become the law of the state in a matter of weeks. The governor of Idaho has just signed a bill that bans CRT from their public schools. In Oklahoma, GOP lawmakers have sent a bill to their governor effectively banning CRT from their classroom. Are you seeing a pattern here, gang? <laughs> we, we could go on and on. The Iowa House has just passed similar legislation, as has the state of Tennessee. Everywhere we look, patriot parents are rising up and politicians are taking notice. And I gotta say, with patriot parents like this all across our country, gang, we have absolutely nothing, nothing at all to fear. Now, before you go, you definitely want to check out our latest video I just uploaded. It's on if Trump's lawyer, Alan Dershowitz, is going to break CNN. He has a massive $300 million lawsuit that just got the go-ahead from a federal judge. You're not going to want to miss this, so make sure to click on the link, and I will see you over there. God bless.